Welcome to the eMotion LV1 video tutorials. A mixer channel is made up of two sections, a channel strip and layer modes. In the last two videos, we studied the channel strips. Now we'll look at the layer modes. A mode defines what happens on a selected layer of channels. This can be processing, routing, or other controls. Layer modes occupy the upper third section of a channel strip, and each mode has its own view. A legend on the left side of the mode section indicates the function of each row, as used in the selected mode. Use the buttons on the right side of the mode panel to select a layer mode. Input mode, Rack mode, Dynamics EQ mode, three aux layer modes, Effects, Monitor, and All aux, Route mode, and a channel mode that shows pretty well everything there is to know about the selected channel without leaving the mixer window. You can also add specialized modes that have specific uses. An example of a specialized mode is the Dugan Speech Auto Mixer, which is used to control a group of microphones in a live, unpredictable setting, where speech is unscripted and interaction between speakers is unpredictable. Using these specialized modes is license dependent. The arrow at the top of the modes list lets you move between these modes. The input mode is at the top of the list, so let's start there. The input mode controls signals from I.O. devices or drivers. Input and talkback channels have drop-down menus for selecting input I.O. device channels. All devices assigned to the mixer in the System Inventory page appear on this menu. Device channels appear in the Channel Input menus and in the Patch window. To change the input mode of a channel, select Flip to Mono or Flip to Stereo. Stereo channels have two independent I.O. channel selectors. You can, for example, make a pair out of one I.O. device's Channel 10 and another device's channel 2. To patch input channels separately, hold Control while choosing a source. I.O. channels will now be mono. When a channel is patched to an I.O. with a preamp, the preamp control section is visible on the channel strip. This section includes several preamp controls. The 48-volt phantom power switch activates the microphone preamp's 48-volt phantom power. Stereo channels have independent left-right 48-volt controls. The preamp analog gain controls set the analog level of an I.O. device preamp. The knob value is temporarily displayed above the knob, and a blue ring displays knob position. Any preamp adjustments you make here are also seen in the I.O. device control panel. This is the input polarity reverse button. Left and right sides of a stereo input channel can be controlled separately. Channel trim adjusts the channel's input digitally. Stereo channels have independent left and right trim controls, and they each have their own value indicator. All mixer source sends are post-trim. Stereo input controls can be linked together or controlled separately. Use the Link button in the Channel window to set this. The Dynamics EQ mode provides a single-page overview of the controls of the plugins that have been assigned to each channel in that layer. It lets you bypass a channel's EQ, filter, and Dynamics plugins. You can also bypass specific Dynamics sections, Gate, Compressor, Leveler, Limiter, and Deesser. When a selected plugin or section is bypassed, its indicator is off. 
Click the EQ or Dynamics displays to move to the corresponding plug-in pane in the channel window. To return to the Dynamics EQ mode, click on the relevant Mixer tab in the top bar. Choosing a layer mode means choosing what to do with a selected channel. In this lesson, we learned about the input mode, which controls input from IOs or buses. We also looked at the Dynamics EQ mode, which provides feedback and certain control of up to three plugins assigned to the channel. In the next video, we'll look at the Rack mode, which lets you organize and access all the plugins on a channel. Thanks for watching this Emotion LV1 video tutorial. See you next time.